Hello there, my name is Rama Takarabi Mina and it's a pleasure to have someone here with me in the person of Dr. Ife Yuan Wakasi. Dr. Ife Yuan Wakasi is a conventional medical doctor and a growth mindset and integrative lifestyle specialist. Now she'll be talking to us more on the integrative lifestyle. I'm also very interested because do you know that she's over 70 and she doesn't look it? So I want to learn everything about the integrative and I'm sure you two want to learn everything about the integrative lifestyle. So, Dr. Vio, it's a pleasure having you here again with me. Of course. Of course. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited. So, what are the attributes of integrative lifestyle? You are very vibrant. Your energy is top notch. I can't even, you know, measure to your energy. So, is it the benefits of the integrative Is it part of the benefits of the, the integrative lifestyle? Integrative lifestyle. Ramatu is actually a miracle. This lifetime will enable you to actually rebalance most of your life challenges. It will enable you to commit to a lifestyle, a daily habit of empowering choices. And you have an appetite to want to read, learn, and grow. When you stop reading and learning, you stop growing. And so I'm so excited about what he has done in my life. Like I said earlier on, in my younger years, I dealt with a lot of depression. But today, I am a differently reprogrammed person, starting from a solid spiritual foundation. The integrative lifestyle actually is anchored on a solid spiritual foundation. And here, I'm not talking about church rituals. I'm not talking about being a churchgoer or belonging to the choir. Fasting, I'm not saying those things are bad, but sometimes we focus too much on them and we're not connected to the Holy Spirit in a meaningful way for our lives. In my younger years, I used to be a churchgoer. I would listen to the gospel. I would listen to the uh, pastor preach. I would dance to gospel music. As soon as I left the church, my negativity overwhelms me. I used to be so negatively programmed. I worried over everything in my life. Whether there was a need to worry or not, I was worried. And that actually affected my life. Today, I'm actually a disciple of Christ. A friend of mine introduced me to the Holy Ghost School. In that Holy Ghost School, we develop a personalized conversational relationship with God. You tap into God's spiritual power and authority. And use that power and authority to command your life challenges to submit to the Holy Spirit. I always say to myself, God did not give me a busy spirit. God gave me a wholesome spirit, mind, and body. So I must be that masterpiece that God has ordained. And again, I try to live my life according to God's plan and purpose. And that is building myself a solid spiritual foundation. Then material things can come. God said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then I will bless you with the other things. But what we do with God, we go to God asking God for almost material things. Asking for vibrant health. Asking for uh, money. In this society, we are so wired for instant wealth. Money is one of our problems in this society. And I'm not saying money is not good. But we need to, first of all, be true Christians. I don't like anybody coming to me telling me, oh, I belong to this church. Oh, I'm a Christian. I don't want to hear from you. Let me see the glory of God in your life. Let me see it in the words you speak, in the way you relate to your spouse, the way you relate to your family members the way you relate to your colleagues. That is what we need in this society to turn around the decadence in our society. Fantastic. So, um, if I will add to what you're saying, um, what made you so positive in my mind? Because you're so, you're filled with so much positivity. Mm -hmm. Of course, I had to do a turnaround. When my negatively programmed mindset was, was almost destroying my life, why would I continue in a destructive path. Does it make sense? But many of us are actually negatively wired. You know the society? In fact, negative news sells faster than positive news. Oh, somebody died. Within a minute, it's all over the place. And so I had to determine, I had to become intentional about my mindset. I do all kinds of strategies to reprogram my mindset because first of all, I read a lot. I first of all read my Bible, read discipleship books. And if you know the words in the Bible, they're very powerful words. God said, as a man thinketh, so is he. But many of us are not intentional about our mindset. We allow negative thoughts 
to come into our brains. We accept it as gospel. We do not question negative thoughts. If a thought is coming and it's coming to come and destroy your life, it's not going to come and build your life, why are you thinking it? So I do some crazy things. When a negative thought is coming to my brain, I ask questions. What is your purpose? Are you coming to come and tell me, oh, that uh, my husband doesn't love me? Are you going to come and tell me, oh, one woman is backbacking against me? I will ask you, are you coming to build or coming to destroy? If you're coming to destroy, I will interrupt it. Sometimes I say things like, get out. I do some crazy things. And sometimes my husband will say, this is my wife, is going crazy. I am not going crazy. I am just being intentional. Talking to negative thought to leave me alone. Again, your words become a self-fulfilling prophecy in your life. The words, and I do my positive affirmations. For instance, after praying, I do something like this. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Let's do it. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Four, every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Amen. Healthy. Come real like vibrant woman. <laughs> Amen. Healthy. Woo. Come real like. How can you stay in a negative state if you make this a continuous part of your life? There's so many other things I can't teach you today, but let me tell you something. People have got to claim their lives back. Mm. Complaining all the time, looking for who to blame, will not give you the life you need. And so I am very excited to be having this discussion and to motivate Nigerians, especially women. Women, we need to upgrade the calibers of who we are. Everybody is waking up to us in this society. Let me end this by saying, men, men, are you listening? Oh, and boys, listen, you are supposed to be spiritual leaders in the homes. But Ramatu, what is the, the challenge in the society? Many men who are supposed to be spiritual leaders, sometimes they don't do what they're supposed to do because men are wired differently from women. And I'm telling a woman, if you have a man that is not a praying man, is not better go on your knees, oh. Don't get combative. Go on your knees and ask God for intervention so that your family can always have God in the family. Mm, when God is not there, it is wahala. Let me stop. Mm, this. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I, t I told you, you will learn a lot because I learned your words are your self fulfilling prophecies mm -hmm. that make you and you know that shape you. So we should be mindful of what we say, speak positively and be spiritually minded. And before you, we just stop this attitude. What sort of attitude are you carrying around? Are you carrying a positive attitude or a negative attitude? Are you seeing difficulty in every opportunity? Are you seeing opportunity in every difficulty? It's your choice. My people, let them back. Let's reprogram. Let's go to God in our prayer and so we can all improve the caliber of who we are. So that collectively, with a competent and capable leadership, with the men, women and the youth, we can rebuild Nigeria. Thank you very much once again. Thank you. So, we will be bringing more details about integrating lifestyle with Dr. Ifei Mama As I said earlier, please click on the notification button and subscribe so that you can always have first-hand information when the videos drop. Thank you and God bless you.